thanks to all patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me uh, i'll be releasing project files to my patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members for details please check link in description thank you hello everyone this is mr vis welcome back to my channel so uh, yesterday uh, i released the tps version 2.9 uh, that includes the quest system so some of my patrons were asking on how to use that quest system and uh, how how can we add the new quest and how how it is used so i thought of making a video on uh, showing uh, or 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 i would say like explaining how this works and uh, how you can use it and customize it as per your need so let me do some clean up so i'll remove all those all these things mm -hmm. i'll start adding it one by one and show how it works So I have removed the assets on the uh, level. Now go to game files, blueprints. So notice these two folders. One is quest system and the other one is quest interact actor. So these two are important. And the interface for uh, quest system is under interface folder and as interaction interface. So under quest system, you can see a, a data table named quest data. So this is important. So this is the source for all the mission details and everything. Open this. So this will be something like this. So let me delete all these things and I'll add uh, everything from scratch. Okay, now this is empty. Okay, let's add our first mission. So, uh, first give a valid row name. Uh, make this unique one because the row is identified by this name. So, our quest name is mission one. So, the the text you give here uh, is what appears on your widget. So, uh, may you can play around this thing. And if it is a main quest or side quest, and uh, the system works in a way that uh, uh, the objectives are completed in stages. So if you have just one stage, you can do it like that also. If you have multiple stages, like reach a location, kill enemies, then collect an item. So you can uh, uh, put them in separate stages, like I've showed in the example video. So for our example, I'll just add uh, one. So stage name would be uh, stage one. I'm, I'm giving this, giving it like this because it will be easy for you to understand where what text appears. And within the stage, you can create the objectives. Objective name mission one stage one bj one description. Okay. Then type is. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, give us location. Uh, we'll see one by one. Uh, so we have four types of uh, 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 missions you can keep. One is reaching a location, kill certain number of uh, AI characters, then interact with something or collect something. So you can have it as per your need. Mission one, location. And the quantity is one. Since this is a location, you can just give us quantity as one. If you want to reach multiple uh, locations, you can uh, increase the numbers here and is it if it is optional and in this system i haven't uh, considered on uh, the reward mechanism because we, we need a separate uh, system on the player to uh, uh, get these rewards something with that so that is not added so when we when i get the, when i get the xp system added to the player i'll, I'll update these things accordingly for now uh, these are just dummy and if you want to auto accept and auto complete, auto accept is nothing but uh, when you're interacting with an NPC. Do you want the dialogue uh, or or uh, do you want the widget to appear? Uh, ask you ask for your uh, ask for the player's confirmation to accept that mission, or uh, uh, soon after you interact with the uh, NPC, do you want the mission to get accepted automatically? So that's what is auto accept. And auto complete is do you want to go back to the NPC? 
to mark the mission as complete or soon after you complete the objective you want to mark it as complete so that is auto complete and parent quest and unlock quest is uh, if you want uh, this quest uh, to unlock uh, other other missions so you can set that here so first let me add one more uh, mission mission 2 first name is mission 2 mission 2 description this is main quest and stages and objective So the second mission will keep something like uh, I showed in the example. So also reach a location, uh, kill certain number of AI players, <coughs> and then pick up that stone. So first one is location. Objective at key is mission two location. Quantity is one. Yeah. I'll leave these things. And under the parent quest, I will add the mission one. So only after mission 1 completes this gets unlocked and similarly go to the mission 1 on unlock quest add a row select the data table and select as mission 2 and mission 2 we will add uh, two more stages the first is uh, reach a location and Add a second stage. Stage two objective is stage two. So here I want to kill uh, players. So I select on kill. Then two. And the number of players I want to kill, I'll set it as two. Um, so I'll leave it as it is. And uh, if you want, you can add more objectives here also. But uh, after killing only, I want to uh, allow my player to take uh, or, or or collect the item. So I'll better add it as a separate stage. Stage three. I'll add an objective here. Stage three objective one. And here I want to interact with an item. So objective ID and the quantity I'll leave it to one. Okay. That's all is fine. Now let's set this up on the map. Now go to your content drawer, game files, uh, no, content, advanced locomotion folder, go to blueprint, character logic, NPC, and uh, NPC quest giver base. Pick that, put it on your uh, now we have to assign the mission to this npc so click on that on your details scroll down to mission giver component here quest data select uh, the quest data table and the row name to mission one and this unlocked set it to true because this is going to be the first mission for us in this map so i'll, I'll set that as uh, unlocked now I'll put one more NPC uh, here that will be for my second mission. So I made a mistake. Yeah. Okay. This is my second NPC, Quest Giver Base 2. Mm -hmm. Come down on Quest Giver component. 
request data and select mission two and uh, it's unlocked set it to false because uh, we don't want this mission uh, to be available before we complete the mission one okay so now we have added the uh, mission one uh, we have to add the items to interact for that so as you know the mission one uh, we have only one stage and one objective that is to reach mission one location so copy this go to the content drawer uh, game files blueprints quest interact actors so you can see something like quest location marker drop it in your map size it accordingly and now uh, you have to set a name for this location mission one location and objective id give the same id that you have copied from here okay and is mission area set to true or false uh in the in the showcase video you have seen that uh, uh in mission one when the player enters the mission area and comes out of it you get a warning of uh, leaving mission area right so uh, this check is for that so if you don't want that to happen here you can just uh, get let it to false and here we are just uh, moving to a location right so we don't need this okay now let's test this mission one uh, how it goes so when i play okay uh, we added two npcs only one has the interact option the other one is dependent on the first mission so we don't have that we go to the npc press e to interact so you can see the text uh, from where it is coming so mission one mission one description mission one stage one objective one description so i accept this now we have to go to the mission area now you can see the mission one is completed submit the mission it is completed I accept once you have accepted it is auto save and your uh, next mission is unlocked now so this is how it works now let me add the other objectives for our second mission also uh, so that it will be a complete info so for uh, the second uh, uh, mission first first stage is uh, to reach the location right so i come here copy this mission location and on the demo level So I keep my mission area here. Okay, so this is my uh, mission area. Uh, I'll set mission to location, and here I'll I'll set this mission area to true. <laughs> now uh, the second uh, objective is second stage and objective uh, is to kill the enemy state so mission to enemy i'll copy it on the demo level so this is your uh, normal npc uh, normal a character you can pick it from content blueprints character logic and uh, a character advanced battle a so this is here uh, a character so this class uh, you can assign this as an objective so select it on the battle a i uh, scroll down so here you can see something like objective id so place paste the objective uh, id here that you have copied from the quest data <coughs> so now this will act as an uh, objective we have given uh, number of kills as two i have added uh, two added the objective id here and our third objective is to is to interact with the item so i will add game files blueprints interact actors 
and I have this magic stone. So uh, add a strange object, uh, just duplicate it and uh, give your name. We'll place it here. Okay, so I have, I have placed the item here. So select that item on the objective ID. Give subjective ID. Okay, now let's play and see how it works. Uh, I'll complete the first mission, accept. completed uh, submit this mission click on accept it's auto saving go to uh, second mission in fact so mission one stage one objective uh, objective two sorry stage two stage three so you can give uh, the text here meaningful as you require accept so i'm going to the location I have reached the location now. And so then, okay, you can see the living mission area alert also. So let me kill these two AI characters. Okay, if we have assigned the guns to this AI characters, they will start shooting at this. But uh, for demo, I, I didn't want to do that. And uh, you can see uh, the stage 3 is unlocked. I'm going and interacting with this. This is also complete. Okay, everything is done. So I accept. <coughs> Okay, so this is how you, you use the uh, quest system. If there are any uh, doubts or uh, clarification, if you want more uh, explanation video on, on how to do other things, please do comment or uh, reach me via Discord. Uh, thanks for support. Thanks for downloading the project and testing. If there are any bugs or uh, uh, any issues uh, you find it, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the Google Forms. So oh, go and uh, fill the details there so that I can get it fixed. Thanks for your support. Bye.